All right, so right off the bat, I have some bad news and I have some good news for you. And I'm gonna start with the bad news first. So if you've been following uh, my first video that I made about Shopify app creation, that was this year, uh, this year in September, how to create a Shopify app with PHP Laravel, um, that will not be accepted by Shopify anymore. So if you create a, um, a Shopify app with PHP Laravel this way that I showed you right here. I suppose that uh, Shopify will not be accept accepting your app anymore. And I can show you an email that I got from Shopify here. And um, when I tried to submit an app, it was a very, very basic app that used um, uh, Shopify script tags basically the app all it did was just animate some uh buy buttons i just created this app to uh, dip my toes into the water of shopify app development and i wanted to submit the app and then i got this email here um, i got this email back and if you submit your app to shopify then they will send you an email back um with all of the stuff that you have to upgrade your app to and you, you know some changes that you that you have to make to your app and um the problem that i had was step five right here um where it says that my app is using script tag api and i should update my app to use um you know to to make it um compatible with store 2.0 themes and that would require me to add some theme app extensions and so on and so on and i might also make a video about that um next but yeah um so that is basically that part that really got me into trouble because this package right here from oc set laravel shopify they only provide you with um script tags and it's very hard to make the script tag compatible to to the um, shopify store 2.0 and i opened a ticket here and i saw that some other people had the same issue as well that their app didn't get accepted um, because of that problem with the script tags you can see here somebody uh, opened a ticket here I also try to edit some some code in the code base, but eventually it didn't work out. And there was another guy here. He also offered a solution on what to do. Um, I will post the link in the description, so maybe you can try to do this here if um, you've just created an app and you're you want to change uh, the code base to your app so maybe you can try to follow along his solution i haven't tried it but maybe you can try it i will post this link in the description here so you can read along but yeah so basically those are the problems that you will be seeing if you will create your shopify app this way that i showed you here so unfortunately that is the bad news that i have today but I also have some good news and the good news is all right let's just roll back one second you know the problem the problem here was that we had to use a package for laravel because um shopify didn't natively support any php apps uh, all they did was support um ruby on rails apps and node.js apps so you could only um create Shopify apps and um, with Node and with Ruby on Rails that was supported by Shopify that was officially supported by Shopify and nothing else. That's why we had to do this work around here with this package from uh, OC set and all of that stuff. All right. But the good news is that Shopify now um, also offers uh, PHP support and with Laravel. So 
they made it very very simple for you to create a Shopify app and actually you don't really need this package anymore so this package might have some some features and way better documentation than Shopify but um, this will make it way easier uh, for you to create your Shopify app and um, it's now officially supported by Shopify so whenever there will be changes uh, made to Shopify you can be sure that um, those changes will also be updated in in this uh, Shopify app from P from Laravel here so um, I think think that I want to show you how you can create your Shopify app from the Shopify CLI here and yeah so those are the good news and I want to show you this right now let's jump right in